Here's another vector. We need to break this vector into components. Now notice that I've decided now to change what the positive directions are. These are not the same positive directions as before. So try to break this down into components and make sure that you're using the positive directions that we've chosen. We have to draw our right triangle that uses the overall vector as the hypotenuse, where the legs are parallel to the axes. We got to put arrows in. The overall vector was pointing up and to the right, so the components are pointing up and to the right. Always label the sides. Here's a sub x parallel to the x axis, and here's a sub y parallel to the y axis. Actually, of course, a sub x isn't really parallel to the x-axis, it's anti-parallel. But sometimes we use the word parallel to mean anti-parallel when we're, when we're not uh, being too particular about which way we're pointing. Clearly, a sub x here is in the same general direction as the x-axis, so it should be labeled as the x component. We'll asterisk the sign when we're given and the angle that we're focusing on. We should indicate which side is the hypotenuse, and which side is adjacent, and which side is opposite. Again, eventually, hopefully at some point, you're going to feel you don't need to keep writing adjacent and opposite and hypotenuse. So whenever you feel you don't need that anymore, you can stop. Um, but if you find that you're making careless mistakes, then go back to writing down the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Uh, it's much better to write down a little bit more and make fewer careless mistakes than to write down a little bit less and make more careless mistakes. So keep writing down these labels, adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse, until you're really confident that you can get these right without careless mistakes. We'd like to find the length of the adjacent side using the hypotenuse. And cut, the cosine, tells us about the adjacent side. Here the cosine of 50. Our adjacent side is a sub x. Our hypotenuse here is 4. Now we don't want to write just a sub x. We want to write a sub x with a dot. We don't want to write, we don't want to write just a sub x. We want to write a sub x with a dot because trig functions refer to magnitudes, not signs. I'm going to continue talking about the magnitude for one more step while we do 4 times the cosine of 50, which is 2.6. That's a magnitude, so there's no point to indicate its sign. But now we do have to figure out the sign, because now we're going to figure out a sub x without the dot, the signed component. Well, a sub x here is pointing to the right, but what's our positive x direction? Do you understand this notation here? Um, notice that in this case, I've drawn the x-axis pointing to the left. Well, if the x-axis here is pointing to the left, the convention is that that means that that's the positive x-direction. Left is the positive x-direction. So this notation means that the positive x-direction is to the left. Um, we haven't shown the negative x-axis over here because usually the convention is that we only show the positive x-axis. Uh, again, your instructor may or may not use this notation. I think this is a pretty common notation. Usually, the convention is that we only draw in uh, the positive x-axis. Well, here I showed the x-axis pointing to the left. So, towards the left must be positive. But you can see the x component here is pointing to the right. So, this x component is going to come out to be negative, negative 2.6. Notice that what the sign is here depends totally on what directions you choose as your positive directions. You have to pay very close attention to the positive directions. Or if you choose your own positive directions, you have to write them down and then be consistent. Uh, because you're not going to get the sign right unless you're being consistent with the positive directions that were given to you or the positive directions that you chose for yourself. Now we're going to work with the opposite sign using our number for the hypotenuse. And the opposite side comes from the sign. So, sine of 50. The opposite sign has a length of a sub y, focusing on a magnitude, so we indicate the dot. Hypotenuse is 4. Four sine 50 on our calculator is 
That's a magnitude, so we don't indicate a sign. But now I'm going to write down a sub y without the dot to signal that now we're going to focus on the sign. Well, our positive y-axis here is still pointing up. Remember that the portion of the y-axis that we show is the positive y-axis. That's the convention. Since this is pointing up, um, and the y component was also pointing up, our y component here is positive. Notice, though, that that's completely dependent on what the positive y direction is. If we had happened to choose down as the positive y direction, then this would be a negative. Uh, so you have to be very clear about what your positive directions are. We should build the information that we figured out into the sketch. I think this is the first problem where we've used uh, positive directions that were not just pointing up and to the right. Now, it's true that in most problems, you're probably going to choose up and to the right as your positive directions, but, but certainly not all the time. There certainly will be plenty of times where you don't choose up and to the right as your positive direction. So it's very important to be accustomed to adjusting when um, you're not choosing up and to the right as your positive directions. Here, up was still positive, but left was positive, not right. So we need to be flexible and adjust to whatever the positive directions are. Remember that on some problems you'll be given positive directions, but on many problems you just have to choose your own positive directions. Uh, but even if you choose your own positive directions, once you choose those directions, you've got to stick with them. So once you write, uh, choose your positive directions, you should write them down using this notation. That way your signs are going to be consistent with the positive directions that you've chosen.